Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Kathy's Corner, Seed in the Sand, and this is Chapter 3 of Baseballs and Diamonds, Lessons Learned. And what I want to talk to you about, yes, yesterday I talked to you about um, getting something for nothing and how that can kind of like relate to baseball and softball and volleyball where Sometimes things work out, sometimes they don't, sometimes they're um, in your favor, sometimes they're not. Um, it's kind of this yin-yang balance of good versus evil and right versus wrong and black and white. Um, and there's all this in-between area, this all, all this gray area in between. And um, so yesterday I I talked to somebody and they said, Oh yeah, I did this and this and this and I got this for nothing and I got that for nothing and I'm so proud of myself for for getting something for nothing and you know, getting this good deal and and you know, kinda cheating people out of out of things and and I was looking at them like I just talked about that this morning, yesterday morning. <laughs> that that makes me feel so bad and it was so funny that this person I was talking to was like, yeah, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's all good, you know, I got in for nothing, or I did this for nothing, and, and, um, I don't know, it just, it just was funny to me that it's all in your perspective of some people are bragging about it, and some people are beating themselves up about it, <laughs> <laughs> it's just so funny how that kind of relates to the game of sports where, you know, sometimes you're you're winning like 20 to nothing or 10 to nothing or 6 to nothing or and and then other days you get you're just you're just clobbered and you get beat 10 to nothing, 20 to nothing, 6 to nothing. And um, how that balance kind of comes back to you, that karma, that law of karma. And um, so, yeah, so that was just kind of funny yesterday that somebody was talking about that going, boy, I just talked about that today, about how that was a bad situation for me. And you're bragging about it like it's a good situation. And it's like, okay. Well, I don't know. I don't know what's right or wrong, but there's got to be some happy medium here somewhere where I don't have to feel so bad about things like that, and he shouldn't feel so good about that because it's going to flip, and all of a sudden it's going to be, he's going to be feeling bad, and hopefully I feel good, you know, that you try to make those wrongs right and try to make those black area, black and white area is more neutrally a gray um, and not quite so, so cut and dry. So I hope that made sense. Um, yeah, but that's what I've been kind of thinking about with the games, um, the sports games as well. You know, you, you have volleyball where, you know, it's constant constant going, constant going, constant going. And then you have softball or or baseball and it's just like a constant movement, constant movement, constant movement, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. And then you have, you know, like soccer and and international football and um and that's a constant motion too, where you you're constantly having ups and downs, ups and downs, ups and downs, and um, it's just interesting to me that life is kind of the same way. We just don't realize it. We're we're constantly in this yin yang, right wrong. What's what are we supposed to do? Um, and all we can do really is just keep going, just keep going, whether it's good or bad. You just keep flowing it. You keep going. Get those volleyballs moving. You know, get get those uh, softballs hitting. Get those soccer balls kicking. So, yeah, just getting that movement, movement, moving. So, all right. So this is the Gordon Smith Healing Spirits cards, and they look like this. And I'm getting my beautiful 
rosary that I show you every day because it looks like these cards. I think they're kind of meant to be together. Um, this rosary is very special to me. I think I've told you that many times. Um, so that's what they look like. They look very similar to each other. And um, I was given that to me by then Archbishop Dolan, now Cardinal Dolan in New York. And he um, gave that to me at a very bad point in my life um, when I was very, very sad and sick and um i put it through the wash with my clothes and they broke into pieces 10 years later they were in my jewelry box in a box uh, a little small container box and i asked for my jewelry box back in 2020 when i was also very sick and kind of everything kind of resurfaced and everything came back together. It was one piece again. So so that's my, I, I'm sure people have heard that explanation before, but I thought if anybody's new, I would let you know what that's all about. Um, so the intention that I'm sending today in today's cards is the motion, the movement, the, the, you know, even though it didn't work out, you just keep going. You get up and you go again. You keep going. I love that movement. I love that motion of sports. And um, we have to do that in life as well. All right. So this is, oops, this is the card that I chose. Hmm, that's pretty. And it says, send help out to others. And the card says, send help out to others. You can feel vulnerable when those, you can feel vulnerable when those who, oh, sorry, my eyes are blurry again. You can feel vulnerable when those you know and love are in trouble or need help that seem beyond your control and abilities. This is the time that you call on spirit healers and helpers and ask them to send love and compassion to those you, who can, you cannot reach or feel you don't have the power to, to fix. Spirit healers and helpers work on a different level so they're to them, so trust them with this one. Neither distance, nor time, nor space can create a boundary when it comes to and sending the healing power of love. And remember, every prayer for others is a blessed is blessed by healing spirits. So that's a good analogy to send out blessing spirits. Um, Blessing and, and uh, healing prayers for those who have passed before us, for those who have um, gone before us, um, for those who are here but feel that they can't be fixed, for those who feel that they can't be healed, that they can't, their situations can't be um connected you know connected again like the rosary beads it's just they feel like there's no way that it can happen um so all we need to do is just pray for them it doesn't matter the time or the or the realm we just pray for them pray for their healing and so the prayers that i'm going to send out for are my ancestors um, for ancestral healing, for my um, forefathers, for this country that we're living in, that we can heal as a country and come back together again because we are a broken country and we need to find that healing, that, that connection, that like we're all beads that are in this box and we need that goodness to bring us all together again. Um, yeah, so that's 
that's my prayer for the day and and movement we got to keep moving can't stay still can't stay sane i can't say i'm giving up because there's nothing left you got to play the game and the game of life is it's going to have ups and downs it's going to have good and bad it's going to have that yin yang right wrong sometimes it's in your favor sometimes it, it's not and um you know, someday we're going to open this box of broken beads and it's going to be all together again. And um, that's my prayer. So, all right. Have a good day, everybody.